Hey folks, Rob here, and uh, I got a, this is the last product video review I'm doing for a while. But these are the Andromeda uh, 10 by 42 These are Back 7 Prism. Uh, says HD portable night vision, all optical lenses. And it also says do not observe the sun directly. Uh, there's what you get in the box, adjustable eye cup. Or these are some of the features. Um, right eye di diopter, tripod adapter, comfort neck strap, and center focus. And these are produced by our good friends at Tida. This is one of their uh, binocular brands. So, you know, these are, and these are like uh, mid $40. So, these are a really nice binocular for that price range. And uh, what you get is your carrying case. Inside the carrying case, you will get your strap. And this is for the binoculars themselves. And you will also get your binoculars. Now, these do have a removable eye cup. Eye, pro eye protection caps here. Or lens protection. And these have adjustable eyepieces so you can adjust these eyepieces in and out to suit your particular needs and they have an adjustable diopter here which is plus or minus three um, that you can uh, use to uh, adjust them to your eye the front lenses are the caps are attached and they are with a rubber ring there so you could take them off but they are attached and they fold to the bottom uh, has a nice uh, hinge on it and like I said these are the let's get you a better focus here this dang camera these are the astronoma what did I say it's first astronoma and 10 by 42 and these are a really nice binocular this focus ring is as smooth as butter and I have actually looked through these and these are very nice clear binoculars very sharp um, for $42 these are a pretty good value I would say especially compared to the others that I reviewed uh, let me grab them and we'll kind of look at them side by side Okay, let's just take a look at the Andromeda for $42 and this set of high-powered binoculars I was sent, which were like $108. And uh, honestly, you get your strap, your carry bag, and you get a lens clean cloth. That's the only thing you get that I didn't see in the Astronoma. And it might be in there, I just didn't. Yes, it does have a lens clean cloth, so it is down in the back but these things are 108 bucks and uh you know personally i wouldn't give you more than 19.99 at a flea market for these things these things are in my opinion junk and do not whatever you do do not pay 108 dollars for these things in no way should you pay that kind of money for this cheap of binocular these things are just cheap uh cheesy you know they do have an adjustable ocular they're rough they're you know just just don't pay that kind of money for for this because it's not worth this these are adjustable from 10 to 30 power but you know 108 dollars 42 bucks i'm gonna spend my 42 dollars any day right here with the astronoma like i said these are put out by our good friends over at tida and you've seen that i tried the tida scope it is excellent the these are uh, back four or back seven prisms they're fully multi-coated um, nice clear binoculars and i have a nice feel to them they're textured kind of a alligator pattern i don't know that don't mean much to me but but the focus knob on these is just slick as silk. Whereas the focus on these is like 
definitely more resistance to it. It's not super hard, but it's not it's not as slick as these. So anyway, guys, if uh, I'm going to give my recommendation to a binocular, it's going to be the Astronomer. For $45-ish, these are far superior to the $108 high-powered binoculars. Even the uh, lens caps and the way to protect the lenses is more, you know, it's, it's just a better setup. So, anyway, guys, thought I'd bring you along for the Astronoma 10 by 42. And these two, uh, the, no, that's for the high power binocular. But anyway, great little set of binoculars. Uh, if I'm picking one, it's going to be this one over this one. There is no way I'd even get $42 for these. These I would pay $42 for. These seem to be a well-made, solid uh, binocular. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. And uh, until the next video, we'll see you guys later.